Hi there everyone, it's Paul Hanich here from Professionals Wellstead team welcoming you to beautiful property in Ashfield, 42 Maley Street in Ashfield, very close to the river, uh, really good location. Got the Ashfield Primary School just up the road and around the corner, uh, close to train station and uh, obviously with Ashfield you're just a few k's from the CBD. Come on inside, very excited to show you around this lovely one. So you've got a nice big gate, double width um, driveway at the front. There is another little crossover on the other side too. I think at one stage they probably had another driveway going down that side there. First thing you notice here, beautifully laid concrete, lots and lots of parking behind the gate. There isn't a little driveway on the side here. So trailer, something like that. If you're a tradie, that's pretty handy. So I love this big carport. It's huge, so if you've got something with a high high roof, easily fitted in here. A little pedestrian gate over there as well. Um, yeah, so this side here, I think maybe this was originally driveway, carport. I'll show you around that uh, at the end. There's more undercover parking and uh, good storage area. So first thing you notice here, lovely front deck, nice and wide and deep. I think uh, you'd probably spend quite a bit of time out here. But there's also a really good part out the back as well. Okay, come on inside. So a beautiful 50s built character home in Ashfield here, this one. Um, round to the left, a lovely separate lounge room. So it's got a door on there, you can close that off. Gas heater is staying, uh, nice high ceilings and tinted windows at the front. It actually feels nice and private. So all been freshly painted. Floors, all the timber floors have just been recently done throughout. So they are stunning. Um, come on through, main bedroom at the front. So this one's essentially got four bedrooms and a study and uh, well, two bathrooms really. So this is the main bedroom. You've got a split system here. There is a split system in the lounge. So big bedroom, no built-in robes as such, but plenty of room if you want to have a big bank of built-in robes on that wall there. Um, yeah, it's got its own little, little separate entry to this part. It's quite cute. So little cupboard behind the door and uh, ensuite here. So shower, single vanity, and your own toilet. So that's the main bedroom right at the front of the house. There's three more. And uh, as we go through, I might just shut that door. It's a bit windy. Um, central area. So it depends on how you want to configure this. I've got it set up as a, like a bit of a study area, which is pretty good use of the space. Little couch there is pretty cool. So again, the timber floors continue right through this back part as well. Second bedroom around the corner, good size room. Got... Um, sash windows there and its own split system as well so again big room all been freshly painted nothing to do just move in and enjoy second bathroom slash bathroom laundry combo there's a second toilet there as well uh, so shower washing machine there and vanity and some built-in cupboards so all pretty good everything you need there so we've done two bedrooms already third bedroom here just over to the side. So maybe an old veranda here, maybe I'd say, because the ceiling's on a bit of a slant, but good size bedroom. It's a good, good room. Well, this could be study, I don't know. Uh, this central area, another good little space, bit of a landing there. Uh, oh, before we do kitchen, obviously dining room here, all tiled, the floor. So at the back, this one, the tiling continues into this one. This is the fourth bedroom. So again, skirtings around there. That was the third bedroom. Double bed there, good size room. And nice views out to the back. The kitchen, granite bench tops, breakfast bar, nice and solid, loads and loads of cupboards. Appliances are nice. You got a Smeg uh, cooktop there, five burner stainless steel, range hood, microwave recess. Um, built-in pantry and all that sort of jazz and uh, underbench electric oven okay that pretty much does the inside i like the idea of a, a split system right near the kitchen 
That, that's a great idea. Keep cool while you're doing all the cooking. Kitchen right next to the outside uh, entertaining area works extremely well. I can't remember how long this patio is, but it's pretty decent size. Gabled, gabled roof on it. Uh, nice private sort of outdoor area. Fences are quite high. So all paved out here, easy care. There's no lawn as such, which is possibly a good thing. Before we show, I'll show you around past the workshop. So this is that little side bit. So um, yeah, pretty good if you like to tinker. All this space here under cover and pretty watertight as far as where it joins the, the house. I suppose you could put some little those pull down shutters there on the side if you wanted more so, but double gates on the front if you want to bring stuff through. So nice and handy. We haven't finished yet. We'll just go back through the patio. Your big um, sort of nine by six meter kind of workshop pedestrian gate there for the workshop access. We'll just toddle down the pathway here. And um, a couple of roller doors on there as well. So that's pretty cool. Old Hills Hoist and uh, some fruit trees out here as well. So um, look, it's, it's pretty easy care. A lot of it's paved mulched you got some space if you want to change it around a little bit be our guest but uh yeah that's a pretty good package here 42 maley street in ashfield 780 square meter block uh you got location is amazing here uh get in touch with us if you're interested love to show you through